So we've just finished the aubergines. The lamb is ready. I'm going to take the top off and switch off the heat because we want to keep the stock. I've just started cutting some tomatoes. These are going to be the base of our dish to protect the rice and the meat and the aubergines. And it will also help flip out the, the, the rice when it's cooked. So you want some nice slices and get your pan. We're going to put the rings on the bottom. They can overlap. And also, it's not just to protect it, it actually creates a really nice taste. It's like quite a sour taste, contrasting with the fatty lamb and the aubergines that have been fried. And then we are going to sprinkle a tiny bit of rice into little cavities here. These will swell, it looks like nothing, but once the water touches it, it will just fill in all the spaces. And now I'm just going to drain the liquid into a bowl and then use all the meat. In here. I prefer to put the aubergines before the meat because the meat is quite expensive, so you don't want to ruin that. And then just layer all these. These have been salted, drop some of their oil, and then we layer the meat and then put the rice on top. So I try to keep the cardamom pods out um, because they don't taste great when you bite into them. And then just scatter the meat. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's all going to mix in together. You have to remember when you cook this, you want to make sure that the heat is not rumbling too much underneath because you don't want the layers to break. So it should be a medium to low heat, probably lower than medium. And then we're just going to scatter the rice over the top. Don't press this down because you don't want it to be solid. So delicious, I can't wait to eat it. And now I'm just going to put the stock that came out from the lamb and then I'm going to add some water on top. And then, and unlike other rice dishes, you don't want to touch this and start messing around with it while it's cooking. You want to leave it. And that's it. And go down to a medium to low heat for about 20, 25 minutes and then let it cool for five or 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip it over in one piece. The matlube has now been cooking for about 30, 35 minutes. The rice is puffed up. We're now going to put it into a platter, turn it upside down and flip it. So, get your plate. You want your plate to obviously be larger than your pot. So now we're just gonna flip it over and then put it down and just say a little prayer that everything is fine. It's looking good. Oh wow, yep. That's perfect. And these tomatoes are doing exactly what they're supposed to do, to protect the meat. You can have them on top, leave them in there. I like to have a bit of everything. I'm so excited that it works. <laughs> I'm gonna serve a portion. We always, always eat it with Greek yogurt. I'm just going to break into this and show you all the lovely effort we put in here so you can see all the meat, the aubergines, and the tomato. You're gonna absolutely love this, trust me, it's delicious. And there's your matlube. <laughs> 